हेलो 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 अस्सलाम वालेकुम जी आया नू पखेर आगले निहाओ चुनेशुम में वश मले और हाय ऑफ गंजाइमस गुटन मॉर्गन ओला बोयोर प्रीवियस कई फहाल हाल शमा चतोरे आलन वसालन मरहबा एंड अ वेरी अमेजिंग गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीबॉडी हु इज ट्यूनिंग टू पीटीबी वर्ल्ड एंड आई वाचिंग वर्ल्ड दिस मॉर्निंग अलोंगसाइड द वेरी अमेजिंग द वेरी टैलेंटेड माहा मखदूम एंड अ बिट ऑफ टैलेंट लाइज विद इन माय ओन सेल्फ एज़ वेल एंड द नेम इज शहजाद खान हेलो माहा हाउ आर यू टुडे हेलो शहजाद अस्सलाम वालेकुम एवरीवन आई विल अपोलोजाइज बिफोरहैंड राइट नाउ बिकॉज़ आई एम नॉट फीलिंग टू ग्रेट टुडे माय एलर्जीज आर थ्रू द रूफ एंड सो आई हैड टू टेक माय मेडिसिन बट आई एम फीलिंग गुड आई एम एक्चुअली you know i was looking forward to today because the weekend there's a lot of activities which we've been highlighting exactly. all week so i am also very eager to get the conversation started with our guest today well amazing that is and you know it's always lovely when the days uh, or when the calendar actually tells you that it's friday and yeah. it's fourth and you know that you know you've got saturday and sunday uh waiting for you guys and you never actually realize that how quickly saturday and sunday went away and Oh, I do realize. Monday, it's back again. Okay, you're Sunday back to work. Sunday evenings are always like, oh gosh, I'm yeah. back. But you know, it's always good because, like I said, you know, I really look forward to the show, and it actually, you know, helps me get out of bed and start my day, which is perfect. But Shazad, I think we have such a lot to cover. We have yeah. a lot to cover today. So let's get the conversation started because we're going to be highlighting some very important days, and today is very one of them. As well. Exactly. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are observing yeah. Firefighters Day as yes. well because it's fourth, and back in 1999, for the very first time, when a few firefighters. you know actually died you know they they sacrificed the, their lives in the line of duty and that's the reason why we actually picked up on this day too as well mm. that firefighters most of the time are the ones who are actually being neglected of the services they provide to the community and to the society mm. and we should always be there for all those people who are actually saving lives without even thinking of their own exactly and you know within pakistan as well you know the situation <laughs> isn't perfect but that's the whole point of today it's the sad like shazad said it's the sacrifices people are rendered and it was started in 1999 on 4th of may is when the whole world observes it and within yeah. pakistan we can do better as well <laughs> exactly so today it's about paying tribute and also going and that's what we're going to do but then there's mm-hmm. another reason for that that why we actually you know observe it on uh, 4th of may and it's the reason is that you know yes. saint florian who's actually the patron of the uh, firefighters mm-hmm. uh, he had a day which was actually observed on the 4th too as well so this is one main reason why they collaborated both of these days mm-hmm. and now we've got one firefighters day so for all those people who are saving lives who are saving all of those kittens within the fire who's mm-hmm. saving all of those animals within the fire or jungle fires mm-hmm. and if these fires can be vicious at times they do not even think about their own kids their own families but all they have is a dedication and motivation to save more and more people mm-hmm. so thumbs up to you guys exactly and so for that we do have a trailer so let's go take a look and when you come back we will talk about what the subject of the show is stay tuned let's do it What my eyes have seen. Close your eyes. Feel heat all around you. Feel. You know you tackling this thing like it's some type of drag. You don't really lose a lot. There's some buildings you realize that's designed to kill fire. It's collateral for another life. You don't know what life is. Welcome back everyone and that was just a little clip for you to show you all the sacrifices and the dangers people go through when they are battling fires and that's why you know fire safety and fire hazards and uh, you know listening to the rules of not smoking indoors making sure you're putting things out and not throwing especially if you live in hot countries not throwing like lit stuff as well into the bushes exactly and it is very important too as well and ladies and gentlemen whenever we talk about firefighting we've seen quite a lot of films dedicated to the same subject but over here in Pakistan i think we are a bit negligent mm. of the, all of those people who actually you know render their 
valuable services in the line Oof. of duty and for the country as well. But exactly. now, yes. moving on to Let's what on. we are here to talk about. So, yes. ladies and gentlemen, cross-cultural promotion is very important. For yes. example, if me and Maha are going to stick to PTV World for all our entire lives, you know, I mm. think just because of the fact that we are lucky enough that the channel goes out in 60 different countries, you know, we might be recognized over there as well. But mm. talent knows no boundaries. Absolutely. And within Pakistan, as you, Shazad mentioned, we like to highlight the talent within our country. For the last four years, we've been finding talent, trying to promote them. But despite that, we've also been having a lot of people who have been visiting all the cross-cultural uh, relationships that we're building. Because at the end of the day, like you said, there's no boundary. There, you know, music is something that unites people. It, in, you know, invokes different feelings. It helps with tolerance, and especially, especially with all the current social movements happening, you know, we've always seen very powerful female artists. However, you know, I just feel like in this day and age, it's just so much more important to get talented females out there and within Pakistan see what the rest of the world is up to and Maha ladies and gentlemen is always very happy to talk about females and women empowerment Absolutely. and I think that's great and it's a team decision as well yeah. <laughs> because the, it is about the right time that we need to do that but other than that Maha mm. since I was a video jockey in my career earlier on a music channel so I was always interested in music mm. uh, it may be from any other land or per in any other language as well because it didn't really matter because it actually gives you an alleviation mm. which I might most of the time I used to link it with my spirits as well, you know, within okay. my own self. You know, if you want to transform your mood, you will listen to some hard rock too as well. It all depends. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, what I used to do was that I actually used to glue myself to YouTube and listen to probably Russian music or Turkish music or even music from Denmark. I so I think this is probably the best link I can actually give you. Absolutely. So we'll be joined by some wonderful guests and we will be discussing why they're here. We've also been joined by the ambassador of Denmark as well. We've been very lucky. And he will tell us the importance of ch exchanging the talent and sh showcasing in each country what's going on. So Shazad today is going to do the honors and is going to introduce you all of our guests. Exactly. So ladies and gentlemen, on my right hand side, I'm very lucky and the pleasure is all mine that he's actually joined us at uh, this point of time. Because it's very early in the morning. Mm. He's none other than the ambassador of Denmark, His Excellency Rolf Hombo. Hello, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, and thank you very much for joining us. And alongside the ambassador, we have been joined by a band. And uh, you know, it's it's very different. So I, I I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to individually introduce them to you, yes, then take the that. name of the band and then ask them why a band and then solo performances. I think this is what so I want to do. So Shazad is basically going to do the show by himself today and I'm just going to sit here and watch. Well, all right. And she's already made me, you know, be under the spotlight oh, because yes, of the I fact that the names were a bit difficult, but yes. I practiced. So uh, alongside the ambassador, we have been joined by Christine Stubo Taibeau. Hello, how are you? Hello. And good morning. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you good for morning. being here today. Thank you very much for joining us. Alongside Christine, we have been joined by Nana Jacobi. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, thanks. Salam alaikum. Wa Thank you very much for joining us. And alongside Nana, we have been joined by Ida Vinoy. Hello, how are you? Salam alaikum. Wa good. Good. good morning. Nice to meet and you. And last but not the least, Sandra Mendoza. Hello, how are you? Good morning. Salam alaikum. How are you? <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, the name of the band is. Hun Solo, yes. if I'm correct. I'm Absolutely. correct? Absolutely. All right. And with that, we are going to go play one of their music videos. Uh, go ahead, take a listen. And when you guys are going to come back, we'll be in conversation with them. Good morning. Welcome back, everyone. That was just a little clip just to give you an introduction to our guest. But before we talk to our band, we're going to talk to His Excellency and actually ask, what are we doing with the band here in Pakistan? How come they uh, have been invited to Islamabad? Well, the reason is that uh, Europe is uh, celebrating its national day. Yes. 
It's doing that tomorrow, mm -hmm. and it's doing that in Islamabad at a big, big, big show yeah. that is called Your Village. Yeah. Uh, everybody's invited. Uh, you can go on the on the internet and you can find out where to go. PNCA, mm -hmm. not far from here. Yes. Um, so basically, uh, the idea is to have a day where all the countries of Europe, of the European Union, can showcase a little about their country, serve a little food. Yeah. Uh, I will be serving, you know, Danish frikadella with oh. Danish traditional potato salad. Excellent. Uh, uh, we've uh, prepared some some Danish traditional cookies mm. that we will be handing out, and there will be a small competition mm. uh, with some badminton just to test uh, how good Pakistanis are at playing badminton. Oh, okay. And if you get it, if you get it in in whole, mm. then you get a prize. Oh, wonderful! Well, that's that's cool. Like and, and this reminds me that you know, last year I actually I was the host of the Euro Village as well. Lovely. And I have, uh, got to actually taste all of the food which was there and then there were so many other people ambassadors and the ambassador of the european union too as well he was there and everybody had fun and Excellent. it was great to enjoy and probably just see that what kind of talent each individual yeah. european country actually has exactly. to share with all of us mm -hmm. but i don't know what happened this time <laughs> but i'm sorry for that i was busy i'm doing another <laughs> show tomorrow so that's why i couldn't do it but other than that <laughs> His Excellency, what I want to know is, why do you think that you actually opted for Hun Solo this time? Why not any other band? Well, it, uh, uh, this band is particularly interesting. It's an old female band, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, which is interesting. And uh, it is also a concept that we felt that we would like to introduce to Pakistan. Mm -hmm. It is something different. You can have bands that are more you know, attuned to uh, traditional bands, if you, if, if you want, you know, to to uh, the Pakistani scene. Mm -hmm. uh, the last band we had down was Rockabali, was a mixture of Pakistani and Danish uh, yes. rock uh, culture. Uh, so we always try to find something a little different to uh, to uh, test the palate of wow. the Pakistani taste. Excellent. That's just cool. And this is why, you know, that we actually need to move on to band members too as well. Yes. First of all, the first thing, Christine, that is why the name Hun Solo? Well, um, the, the name Hun Solo means, Hun means uh, she, as her or mm -hmm. she, and Solo means solo, yeah. and that means alone. Mm -hmm. So actually, uh, the concept of Hun Solo is, is not really, we are not a traditional band, uh, uh, meaning mm -hmm. we are four members and uh, always together. Uh, this is Hun Solo is a platform or a concert concept mm -hmm. where we uh, perform every uh, musician performs on her own on stage so you will only see one person uh, on stage mm -hmm. at a time and uh, we invite uh, many many different female artists on stage oh, wonderful so uh, nana mm -hmm. and i and a third mm -hmm. uh, woman uh, called anya we created this idea because we want to uh, um, um, show uh, the many talented female artists we have and then uh, at each show you can see five short uh, solo performances ah. and then we invite uh, different guests every time so Excellent. Nana and I will be playing as hosts mm -hmm. and then we have uh, guests uh, with us all and the time. And this is why uh, mm -hmm. some of the artists we saw in the video was yes. other artists mm -hmm. than these ones. Okay, so, that's wonderful. That's yeah. that's so, such a great so this is a band where men are not allowed? <laughs> is that what it is? We have a lot of men as our <laughs> audience, okay. and they are so welcome. Yeah. Oh, that's just great. Okay, but Absolutely. while I was going through the profile, I just read that, you know, uh, Hun Solo is actually all about celebrating artistry of female musicians. Mm. So, but there can be a variation, you know, for once in a while, <laughs> you know, you feature somebody who's actually not a female, but a male and sings mm. and, you know, could, can we do that? Do you guys think I that think you know, days to, to come this one might happen? Do you want to come join us? <laughs> well, I, do you think that you know I can sing with these vocal cords? But I'm just asking, how do no. we celebrate the female artistry? Well, well, we've been really um, consequent by uh, keeping this uh, concept mm. because we find that there have been there are so many interesting, talented, and wonderful female artists mm. who we feel don't get the visibility they, they okay. deserve. So this is why we created this platform. Wow. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Um, and just to go forward with uh, the, when you're finding other artists as well, uh, within Denmark, because within Pakistan, you know, you do have a mixture, but every, and the majority of things are, you know, male dominated. So oh. within, oh, shit, I'm, <laughs> come on, it's if it's I'm not, not talking, you know, myth yeah. here. But within demo, is it the same, similar situation? Well, it's the it same, yeah. It's actually a business uh, with uh, between 80 and 85 percent male, okay. not only in the musicianships, but also okay. in the business, you know, okay. like 
the production companies. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow, and this is why I wanted to move on to Ida over here. So Ida, since you know Christine and Nana, they are the host. How is it to play among them? And you know, what kind of host are they on stage? Oh, it's it's such a privilege. Yeah. It really is. I really support this whole project so much, and it's it's it means so a lot, so much to have a platform yeah. where you are able to share your music in a community with women. Uh, and see them as, as you know, because we are colleagues. Mm. Yeah. And sometimes, um, especially I play a lot solo when mm. I'm out and when I'm touring, so it's really nice to have this colleagueship with mm. other women and like support each other and feel empowerment uh, from each wow. other. Wonderful, so excellent. feeling empowered, what are you going to share with all our people who are out there and want to listen to some live music? You want to so hear some live music? Yeah. 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 Plus, okay. Well, of course. Um, so also, uh, just to add, mm. we um, a part of it is also showing a lot of different music. Yes. So uh, just to say that, like, I, in this constellation, I might be the more, like, traditional mm. singer-songwriter type. So okay. I'm going to play one of my songs. Let's do it. Yay. Uh, um, okay. Um, it's called The River of Trees, Burry Hill. Okay. There's a place where I can tell Dreaming from what's real Stories clear and sometimes vague But always there within me There's a view I always go to Even when I'm not there Stories clear, sometimes vague, but always within me. Oh, the sun, it keeps shining near and far. But in my heart, there's no light shining quiet. The sun by the river of trees for Tell the river that I've been down to the bottom of the deep blue sea. Sometimes you need to get away to know what you really have to see the mountains and skyscrapers to be the north and then long to be stillness. Oh, the sun, it keeps shining me. But in my heart there's no light shining quite like the sun by the river of trees buried here.
Wow. That was wonderful. That was great. Beautiful. It was actually early in Thank the morning. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, yes. With that, I would definitely love to move on to Sandra Mendoza. I'm asking over that question well. now. Well, you I said that. You know, I can ask it. You said that you know all oh, your allergies are through the roof. Yeah, so I was I just can helping still you. Talk. All right, let anyway. me bring them back. Okay, so uh, Sandra, let's move on to you. Thank you for being here today. Um, how did you? connect with Hun Solo and the two hosts? Yes, actually I've been on tour with them in December, November, November, December, um, mm -hmm. so last year, so uh, I knew them already from working with them there because okay. they reached out to me and uh, liked my music. <laughs> Wonderful. Wow. Yeah. And uh, t tell us, how has the collaboration been when you started touring with them and then, you know, also when you perform by yourself as well? What's the, what's, what's the difference like? Yeah, it's actually uh, it's a very, very different experience yeah. because, uh, as Ida said, we are doing very different things and uh, we have a very different style to bring and add to the show. So finding uh, myself mm -hmm. in that constellation was a, a, like a, yeah, a, a thing I had to figure out because I'm doing very heavy electronic music, mm -hmm. very um, digitalized. Uh, I'm very like... Uh, making my music on the computer and then playing it also with a lot of backtrack and they are very like musicians with their instruments and it's a very big contrast but it also it's very cool to see that it comes together and works because people in the audience they want to discover new music and, and see different things when the, and you get like a whole package, but yeah, it gets great. It's like, it's like tapas. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> it is. And, and this, great. Is, this is why, I, um, you know, what I wanted to ask is, for example, Christina and Anna, when you got a call from the embassy over here in Pakistan, <laughs> the D Danish embassy over here, so what was the feeling you went through and when, you know, especially they said, okay, we guys are going to have you over here and you yeah. guys are going to play yeah. at the Euro Village mm -hmm. and the, the different festivals. So how, how, how was it? It was like, we we felt that we uh, we were going on an adventure. It's like a, a fairy tale, and uh, you know we have this story. Uh, we're called uh, One Thousand and One Nights. Yeah. And we were just feeling that we were going to this uh, fairy tale. Oh, uh, excellent! Wow. On this fairy tale, and to experience your culture and all your colors uh, on the clothes mm -hmm. and the. Uh, yeah, it's very exotic and a big privilege. Oh, yeah. We actually didn't believe it when that email no. checked in. We was like, <laughs> is it true? Is <laughs> this happening? <laughs> yeah. so, so, yeah. so now there are two things, His yeah. Excellency. First of all, you know, since it's a cross-culture program, Pakistani people will get to see the music that mm. Mark is actually going to share with all those people out there. But other than that, uh, which Pakistani singer is your favorite and why? Oh, that's a if you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, if it's not that difficult question. It's not uh, that difficult question, right. but diplomatically, I should not answer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but what kind of Pakistani music do you like? Do you like folk ballads? Do you like you know pop, hip hop? What do you like? To be honest, I'm actually quite into Kuali music. Okay. Wow. Wonderful. I like the Kuali music, and I like what uh, Rockabilly did to it. You Absolutely. Know, uh, in blending it together with mm. more modern rock. Mm. Wow. Uh, um, because this is something that is very Pakistani. Mm. I mean, this is something that comes from here. It has a long culture. It has a great following. Wow. It's uh, very spiritual. Mm. It uh, sort of reaches out to you know to your to your inner self. I think that is a, a very very interesting music. Uh, other than that, you have also other great bands. Um, if I, we went to the Coke uh, yes. festival, which yes, was exactly. at. Uh, I went to the one in Islamabad, but mm. there have been different places. Uh, uh, great playings. Uh, I think there's a, a good and vibrant and emerging scene. Absolutely. Exactly. And I think that, you know, something like Hun Solo coming here mm. with uh, a little different music perhaps and, and uh, uh, within it show different types of music and uh, reaching out also to Pakistani artists, this is okay. a, a great way to build cultural ties. Exactly. Absolutely. And I just wanted to highlight, you know, last time it was Rock Kavali and like you said, you know, people are familiar with it and it was a success, you know, people were talking about it. it you know. The, I think the objective was achieved that, that you set out for. So when you know, deciding this time around, like you already mentioned, you wanted to showcase you know, the different talents within Denmark, but how did you come across uh, Hun Solo? And why did you think that, yeah, these people sound perfect as a representation for the Euro Village as well and for the National Day? Well, it is uh, you know, uh, not to go for the mainstream mm -hmm. all the time, but actually try to find something that is different. Okay. So that also the Euro Village can present something that is different. There okay. will be a big show tomorrow night. Yeah. Yes. They will be the mainstay of the show. Excellent. And uh, uh, there will be other elements as well. Mm -hmm. 
uh, it will be a great evening. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to the concert tomorrow. Well, and we are too as well. Absolutely. And this is, this is why Christine, and now this is what I'm wanting to ask. Now, since you guys are the host, and you know there are different musicians who actually join you on stage. So every other musician has picked up on their own genre, and you know some may sing, want to sing rock, some may want to sing pop, so, some, you know, so it's all different. Exactly. So how do you cope up with that, different genres, because it's going to be a bandwagon full of very different types of bands and you know, the musical notes. So how do, we, how do we maintain a balance in that performance? Well, um, we always curate the, each concert uh, very uh, consciously. So uh, we choose the different artists uh, and their expression. And when we say, okay, we would like her to come, then we need someone who is, uh, yeah, we just need to balance the expression so we get a d diverse uh, expression mm. yeah. uh, and I also want to mention that um, we are always five uh, people on stage uh, every uh, at each concert mm. uh, and for this trip we have actually invited uh, a local Pakistani excellent uh, artist mm. to join us because we are only four people uh, okay so th that's the fifth yeah, she will be yeah. coming tomorrow. Wonderful. Yeah. So how did you? So, are, so are, are we going to give us the name? It was a surprise. Yes. Yeah, Maria Umai. Umai. Oh, yes. Mario yeah. Nera Kreshi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she used to be a regular, yeah. uh, not regular, but we've had her uh, on the show a few yeah. times. She's uh, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So now, um, while you are here, I mean, obviously. Ma, I'm sorry to interject, but you know, before you ask speaking. another question, we have got another video oh, to share, okay. uh, and the video is obviously from Hun Solo. So if we can do that, go ahead. Let's do it. Welcome back, and that was some of uh, Christine's work as well. But now moving on, because we're going to be giving you a little taste of each of our artists' uh, performers and talents so that you guys go tomorrow, and it starts in the afternoon. It's at PNCA, and it's open to everyone out there as well. And uh, just start yelling, sing the same song you did <laughs> on PDV World. Absolutely. But now uh, let's move on to Sandra, because we're going to be sharing your clip next. Yeah. Um, you mentioned you've already been touring with Hun Solo, but you know the audiences maybe you, you get familiar with them you know because I, I guess it's not too different the music scene in, in Europe um, the the reactions within Pakistan how would you 
How did you come up with, oh, this might be good, this might work? How was it creating the playlist? Um, <laughs> if I have to be honest, I have very provocative music, uh, like lyrics. Oh, and right. they are very um, uh, dark-minded uh, okay. and a, a lot about like depression and stuff oh. like that and trauma. And mm. so I, w I had to try to find uh, the, the songs that didn't have the most um, provocative lyrics. Okay. So I, I wanted to sh like do it relatable mm. so people also in the audience can, uh, can get something out of it and feel re related to it instead of me just uh, <laughs> saying inappropriate stuff. Oh, okay, I don't fine. want to be uh, inappropriate just to be inappropriate. Okay, that's fair enough. Well, and yeah. this is what brings us to a point where we're going to share uh, Sandra Mendoza's work too as well. So yeah. go ahead. Let's take a listen once again. It's a very musical journey early in the morning. Good morning. Welcome back, and that was Sandra Mendoza's work as well, which you can go and check out tomorrow. I'm going to keep promoting it because it's all about seeing what the rest of the world has to offer, and there's so much talent out there. And it's imagine I'm on the couch, and ladies and gentlemen, I feel like bouncing. He's really hyper, now, like you know, I'm so I not like hyper, it. Yeah. and he's so hyper. So I can it's going feel to be fun tomorrow. Lights. Yeah, absolutely. But Shazad actually has the next question. Yeah, all right. So, so Nana, it's your turn now. So you know, while you were packing up your bag and you were thinking about, okay, we're going to go play live music over there. What kind of playlist did you come up with for all the audiences over here? Actually, I'm going to be singing a, a little bit of songs in Danish. Oh, amazing. Okay. Because I'm working on, this will be my first album in Danish. I'm working on it now. So okay. you always have a lot of energy in your new songs. Yes. Okay. And I really felt like, but, but it's a funny thing. I've, I've tried it before. Uh, singing Danish songs mm. abroad and okay. it's funny because it's it really um, um, you have to focus mm. on the, the, the energy mm. and the, the, um, the feeling of the song Absolutely. to try and tell the story to people who don't know what the words are about but you'll be hearing a little bit of Danish and then one song in English too. One song in English. So, so nobody's yeah. actually trying to attempt to sing in Urdu too as well. <laughs> I don't know. Actually. actually. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, we're gonna sing a song with Maria. Oh, oh. excellent! And uh, in let's Urdu. see <laughs> in Urdu. Yes, yes. Okay. we're right. gonna try. We will rehearse. So, and can you please tell us which song it is? It's no, a new it's one. A, it's a new it's one. A yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. So there's uh, lots of things happening exclusively yeah. tomorrow yes, as well. Yes, definitely. Fantastic. Yeah. Excellent. And on that note, I think we should go and share. <laughs> They're not sharing. Uh, our producer wants to share. No, but we can share. still request. You know, just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> just a little bit. Can can we sing a verse of that Urdu song? They haven't practiced it yet. Okay, but just just. Tell us the name. Um, it was like so. I think it's called Why Not. Yeah. yeah. In Urdu. Yeah. And I don't remember the the okay. title in Urdu. Okay, fair enough. Okay, it's all right. So it, and it and it's a song about. Uh, which one? Okay. Sorry. Okay, so my producer's actually giving me a cue. Which one? But, but, but it's, 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 it's unreleased. It's, it's not out there. Okay. okay. It's a premiere. Yeah. Absolutely. So they're exclusive. That's what I'm saying. And no it's one's listening to I'm you right tomorrow. now. I'm okay. going tomorrow. Exactly. No you should all go. Okay. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. I will. But on that note, let's go and share uh, some of Nana's work as well. And then when you come back, we will get our final words from His Excellency the Ambassador and our guests as well. Yes, let's do it.
That was Nana's work, and that was wonderful. And, you know, I'm really excited. The more, you know, we're sharing with you guys, the more <coughs> excitement is building for tomorrow. Uh, but now, um, Shazad has the question for his excellence. All right. I never knew that. I, I yeah, did. Yes, obviously I do. <laughs> okay, so first of all, oh, today. what can we expect from tomorrow? For all those people who are out there, what can they expect? And then in near future, are we going to have more and more talented people over in yeah. Pakistan from Denmark? Well, first of all, tomorrow I think you can expect a great show. Yes. Yeah. There will be a great and very diverse show by Hun Solo. Uh, you've heard and now understood they do very different things, yeah. but great and very innovative and interesting things. Mm. I'm very much looking forward to the concert tomorrow. Okay, wow. wonderful. And yes, uh, I can affirm that we will try to make as much interaction as at all possible in the cultural area. This wonderful. is a way of building bridges, you know, between peoples, between continents, between cultures. And uh, it's a good way to do it because Absolutely. everybody loves music in any, any part of the world. Absolutely, wow, and we're really true. excited for that because so far, whoever you've been bringing have been absolutely phenomenal. So we will look forward to the future as well. But you know, Shazad, we were discussing during the break that how when you know visitors come and when embassies ha you know invite guests over, the schedules are very yeah. full, jam packed, like literally one thing after another. Even yesterday, I guess guys going, like these, they keep on telling them all we have to yeah, go. Yeah, they're like, come on, come on, no, no, you can't sit. So, um, you know. Do we do our guests have a lot planned while in their short trip here? They have a full program. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so but before we wrap it up, you know, there's one thing which I want to ask, and that is that yes. you guys probably arrived yesterday. Yes. Okay, so see, that's how tight the schedule <laughs> yeah. is. Did you get a chance to eat any of the Pakistani cuisine dishes? Have you done? What yes. did you eat? Yes, we did. Uh, uh, at <laughs> the what ambassador's. Uh, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but it was nice. It was, yeah. Yes. yeah, it was uh, amazingly well tasting. It was yeah. really good food. We had it at the residency of wow. the oh, ambassador. Cool. Yes. What yeah. about Sandra and um, Ida? I'd like to ask you: is, is there anything particular you guys want to do or make sure in while in Pakistan, while you're in, in Islamabad? We actually all, like already did some of the things that we wanted to do. We had some shopping time. It was put into the schedule. Excellent. <laughs> good. Wow. They, they, they're taking good care of us. Uh, but. Um, yeah, we wanted to go uh, shop some stuff for our like friends and family, mm -hmm. uh, the traditional uh, Pakistani clothes. Am I saying it right? Yeah, yeah we are friends now. Yeah, yeah shop okay. Cool. <laughs> so uh, we wanted to buy some stuff for our yeah, friends and Excellent. family. So we did yeah. that. So we're very happy and pleased about that. Okay. And we'll Carl yeah. 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 Carl <laughs> yeah, what about you? Yeah, yeah for, well, as Sandra said, like it was so amazing to be in like a traditional shop yesterday with the scarves and the carpets. It's just amazing. Like as you can see, I love colors. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Like speaking of that, I feel very at home here. But I know that's kind of superficial as well. But like meeting the people here, just 
we entered the airport, the old airport, mm. uh, and um, just from the very beginning, people were just being so nice and coming mm. up and saying, so nice to see, mm. you know, not only Pakistani people mm. coming here, and yeah. uh, you just feel so wel welcome. Yeah. And right. uh, excellent. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you for good. that. Thank you very much, His Excellency. Thank, thank you, you very so much, much. Cassini. Thank you very much, Nana. Thank you very much, Ida. And thank you very much, Mendoza, for being over here with us. And ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow at 4 p.m. at PNCA. PNCA? Yes. Yeah, that's correct. Your village, they will be performing. There will be many other artists as well. It's a celebration. Go ahead, taste their food too as well because we have had enough of biryani now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's all about the cultural exchange and it's about learning and growing and also enjoying and it's a great family day out as well. And so for anyone who says nothing's happening in Pakistan, there's a lot happening this weekend as well. And there are other events taking place. So do look on Facebook because it's all up there. Yeah, so before we move on to Ida for one last performance, yes. uh, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, so please make sure that you write to us on our Facebook fan page. Which is with the name of? Well, this morning. On Twitter. Well, this morning without a G. On Daily Motion and YouTube. Well, this morning. And this fabulous repeat is going to be at 11:05 p.m. this evening. Have a wonderful day, a great weekend, and we'll see you bright and early on Monday. And over to Ida. Okay, I'm gonna try one in Danish. So Please. you hear yes. how it sounds. Tindrane, skingrane, vanvittige sol. Du tog mig fra morgenen, havde skåret mig i søvn. Stykkerne vrimlede mod lysets magne. Solen sagde, vent ikke på mig. Jeg var underligt for lejen, da du sagde, at jeg var din. Vi sad over skyggerne som lå, mens jorden spytte med blomster. En af dem landede på mine hvide hænder. Dine øjne som silke mine tårer er sved. Og nu hænger ordene der, levende for sig selv. Min tunge for søvende slæber sig vej. Men med munden mod munden kan det ikke gå helt. Jeg var underligt for lejen, da du sagde, jeg var din. Vi sad over skyggerne som lov.